Hi, this is Sean from Nop Admin, and uh, in the last video we went over the uh, Product Attribute Manager. Um, pretty much a great length. It's uh, about a 20-minute video, and in the uh, video we talked about you know, a lot of the different concepts about dragging and dropping and creating groups of attributes to apply to several different products and how to change those. Um, and uh, there's a couple concepts I left out and I would like to cover those just to make sure that you know folks understand them so um, what I want to do today is show you how you can control the way the product attributes are presented on the web page and you can do that through NOP admin so let's get started you go to product attribute manager and if you remember from the last video we loaded 500 products in there before, so we have product 1 through 500. And we're just going to show all, show all the videos. Show all the, the uh, I got videos in, on the brain now. Um, we're just going to show all the attribute groups that we created. Now in the last video we created one called My Custom Sizes and My Custom Colors. Right? And what I want to do is just take a look at how we can just change the way that these are displayed. So we have, um, let's take a look at product 100. Product 100 uses the size and the color that we created. Now, if you notice, as I select these, look at this button up here. Right, it changes. Manage color, manage size, and the way um, that you change the way that the this particular attribute is presented on the web page is through that button. So let's pick on the manage size. These are just standard Not Commerce data elements. Um, they they're in the Not Commerce um, admin panel, but you can set the text prompt. And you can also control how it looks, whether it appears in a drop down or radio button or checklist or whatever. You can also change the display order. So let's go take a look at our web page. And we're on product 100. And we see that the size and the color both appear as drop downs, the size is first. Let's change that up a little bit. So again, we're going to change the size. Uh, let's make it a radio button list and let's make it last. Okay, your settings were saved successfully. Great. Let's do the color. And let's make him a checklist. And um, he can be first, I guess. So let's go save. Your settings were saved successfully. Now if we go back to the web page, take a look at it to see what it looks like. Hit F5. There you go. Our size is last. Our color are now checkboxes. Not sure how how appropriate this is because you know through this you can select more than one, um, but you get the idea. Okay, so basically we just showed you how you can um, change the way the um, attribute looks on the web page just by clicking it and going manage. Right? It's very simple. So, my name is Sean from Not Admin, and um, you know, certainly as you get into the product attribute manager, I think you'll find that uh, it really takes a, um, a, a lot of the time out of managing your attributes in your Not Commerce store. So, if you have any problems or questions, by all means, email support at nopadmin.com. Support is always free, um, whether you're a paid customer or not. So, um, and I'm also on Skype at ID nopadmin. So, um, please feel free to contact me. And um, thank you for watching this video.